this is Daniel Fortes, developer of the AR Plus GPS location plugin for Unity. Today I'm going to show how you can use our new web interface to quickly place objects in the map and display them on your location-based AR application. Now this web editor is still in early stages, so it's pretty simple for now. We are planning on adding many more features to it soon. So let's get started. The first thing we can do is to click on this button on the top right portion of the screen. This will take us to our current location. Now I'm going to zoom in into a park which is near me. I'm going to add a few objects here and then we can go out and test to see if they are placed correctly. To place an object, just click anywhere on the map and it will display a marker on that location. So I'll just place one right here. After that, we just need to fill in some fields on the property panel on the left side of the screen. The fields in this panel mirror the property fields of the place at location component inside the Unity editor, with the addition of the name and mesh ID fields. The name field is just an arbitrary string, which you can use to identify this particular entry. And the mesh ID field is an identifier which is used to associate this entry with a prefab inside the Unity Editor, as we will see in a few moments. So I will just name this entry logo01 and give it the logo mesh ID. And then we click on add marker and the marker is added. And after a marker is added, you can drag it around with the mouse to change its location. Now I'm going to just add a few more markers around this track in the park. And you can select any of the markers you added to edit them either by clicking them on the map or by selecting them on the list of points on the left panel. Now that I've added all the points I wanted to add, I'll just click on download XML and save the XML file with all the data to be imported into the Unity editor. If you want to edit this data later on, you can open the editor and click on Upload XML to load the previously saved data. And now let's open up the Unity editor. Starting from an empty project, let's open the Package Manager window and install the AR Foundation package. And since I'm building for Android right now, the AR Core XR plugin. If you are building for iOS, you should install the ARKit XR plugin instead. Next, we are going to open the Asset Store tab and import the AR Plus GPS location plugin into our project. Now we can start setting up our scene by right clicking on the Hierarchy tab and going to the AR Plus GPS folder. We can click on Create Basic Scene Structure and the plugin will automatically set up a basic scene for us. We are going to remove the GPS stage object because we are not going to need it right now and create a new empty game object called Web Map Loader. Then we add the Web Map Loader component to this game object. There are two main properties on the Web Map Loader component. The first is the prefab database. This is a scriptable object that associates the mesh IDs from our dataset to prefabs inside Unity. The other XML data file is just the XML file that we downloaded from the web editor. So let's import our XML file. Next, we created the prefab database by right-clicking on the project file browser, going to AR plus GPS and clicking on prefab database. In the inspector, we see that the prefab database consists of an array where each entry has a mesh ID and a prefab. Since we only have one mesh ID on our dataset, we only need one entry in the prefab database. If there are more prefabs to be placed, we will need an entry with a different mesh ID for each one of them, matching the mesh IDs from the web editor. In this entry, we set the mesh ID to logo, 
the same we use it on the web editor. And then we select the prefab that we want to display at the corresponding locations in our dataset. Here, I'll select the AR Plus GPS logo prefab, but you can select any prefab you want to. Finally, we drag the prefab database we just created to the web map loader component, and the scene is done. Now we just need to build our project. In this case, I'm going to build for Android, so I'll switch to the platform. On Android, when building for AR Foundation, you also need to remove Vulkan from the list of graphic APIs, disable multi-threaded rendering, and change the API level to at least 24. And that is it. We can now build our project and go out to the park and test it.